hey hello everyone i am dj mustang and today we are going to solve a try hack me challenge so challenge name is templates and what you're seeing over here is pug is my favorite templating engine i made this super sleek application so you can uh, play around with the pug and see how it works so first of all we'll see what is this uh, uh, pug engine so what is pug engine what they're saying over here pug is formerly known as a jet it's a template engine okay and pug is used to write templates uh, that are compiled into a function that takes the text in the data and ren render the html document so uh, basically whatever you provide the data it will uh, convert it into the html document and it will render so uh, that's what all about this uh, pug engine so we'll see what is this first we'll copy this thing ip address so what they're saying over here is once you start the machine so uh, you have to navigate over here at the 5000 port and also check out this similar content try hack me ssti uh, so what is ssti ssti is basically server side template injection and uh, is a web exploit which takes advantage of insecure implementation of template engine now what is a template engine template engine allows you to create a static template files which can be reused in the application so basically uh, it will create a template if you provide any data i want this uh, code a template code then it will create that code something like that so we'll see what kind of application is this will quickly uh, navigate to the sport that is so 5000 yeah that's correct we'll close this thing and i can see the template engine is there so if i say it's basically converting into the html if i click over here then it is generating a, a html code so doc type html head and uh, the spark you can see over here uh, like this this is the title is a pug so it is converting that into the head title script you are amazing container so see over here it is directly converting into the html uh, tags uh, so uh, it's basically the um, uh, converting into the html so we'll uh, see what is this ssd and how to exploit this thing so what is ssdi no uh, we'll directly search for the exploit ssdi and uh, ssdi we are searching in the pug so and see we'll see r c e code maybe so we will get some so we'll see what kind of link is this that's pretty difficult to understand <laughs> we'll go with the second one okay there's a hack trick link and uh, over there it's a big link i guess better we'll search with the pug only so that will be better to okay pug is it yeah pug js so we are here we'll first uh, see whether it is working or not so we'll go over here not here okay over here we'll delete everything and we'll see whether it is working or not oh it's working so as expected it is uh, giving the result uh, like 7 into 7 is 49 so we can uh, go ahead with this uh, links so we'll quickly close which are not uh, useful okay and uh, we'll do one thing we'll copy this thing and we'll see whether okay sorry we are able to uh, etc password instead of this we'll say ATC password maybe no so maybe this machine don't have touch so we'll say cat no maybe nano no it's not working we'll move ahead with the third one this one and uh, okay we'll quickly delete everything 
okay now we here we have to insert our uh, machine IP the machine IP is uh, 10 10 what is this 10 9 5 5 2 41 so this is like uh, 10 9 5 5 2 4 1 is it oh okay we'll do one thing we'll quickly take a mouse pad and we'll copy this thing where is that and uh, our IP address is 10955241 and we're going to host it on the 7777 and uh, obviously uh, we'll just check the connection or try to fetch any files so first of all we'll say and see nlvp and 777 we'll start listener on 777 port and uh, we'll copy the thing and here we go it says undefined is it working yeah it is saying undefined but the code is working in the background so we'll quickly uh, put uh, reverse shell over here so for that we'll take a bash shell so bash reverse shell and what we have over here okay bash tcp great okay we can go ahead with this one we'll see whether it is working or not we'll take it on the uh, mousepad first and we'll change the IP address that is 10 9 5 5 2 4 1 and the port number is uh, 7 7 7 7 2 3 4 and we'll quickly copy this thing and paste it over here okay uh, first of all we'll close the connection and again start the connection and uh, was this part yeah okay sorry so we'll quickly paste over here and say okay now we'll check the connection no still not We'll quickly check the code again so we'll do one thing we'll uh, use this bash in front of this maybe bash uh, we'll say this is a command and uh, yeah pretty cool I guess I think it will work now seven 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 will go behind and okay so uh, I think there is a problem with the this one uh, maybe we can solve this thing so we'll go over here and we'll put this thing in the double code so we're going to you know close this double code over here and we're good to go undefined and we got the shell how am I user and uh, we'll see the we'll check the files and here we got the flag so it just say it is readable basically we are user but we have read permission so we can read this flag so uh, it's it was uh, pretty easy so we have successfully compromised this uh, challenge and we got the flag so thank you so much for watching and have a nice day